Google Daydream is a few weeks old and we've had lots of time to play with Google's Daydream View headset. Google has done a great job with the headset trying to go new ways by using fabric instead of plastic and in general making it as approachable for the general public as possible. However, the headset does have its drawbacks. It's not as comfortable as it looks. The field of view is only around 90 degrees. There is no focus wheel for users who suffer from near or farsightedness and the interpopulary distance IPD cannot be adjusted. Heck, let's get rid of our rose-colored glasses here. That's actually quite a lot of drawbacks. That would be a big problem if Daydream users would be forced to only use the Daydream View headset. Few people know that this is actually not the case. The Daydream VR platform is fully compatible to any third-party headset and that third-party support is directly baked into the platform. In this video, I will show you how to pair any third-party headset, like for example the brilliant Bobo Z4 with Daydream VR, and it's so simple. Follow these steps to pair any third-party cardboard VR headset with Daydream VR. Number one, open the Daydream app on your phone. If the app asks you to insert your phone into your viewer, don't do so, but click on the back button until you are in the Android Daydream app. Once you are in the app, click on the hamburger menu item on the top left. Number two, in the slide out menu that appears, click on settings. Number three, since you had only used your Daydream View headset so far, under headset, it should say Daydream View. Click on headset. Number four, your camera starts and the app will ask you to find the headset's QR code. Number five, now find your headset's QR code. In this example, we found it in the headset's manual, but it could also be printed directly onto the headset or you could find it on the manufacturer's website. Number six, scan the QR code. Number seven, success. A pop-up will tell you that you have successfully paired your headset with Google VR. Number eight, and indeed, the name of your paired headset should now show. Number nine, now how to use your headset. It's simple. In the Daydream app, click on the headset symbol on the bottom right. Number 10, this dialog will appear, which asks you to put your phone into the headset. Do not do so. Instead, double tap on the screen. Number 11, after you have double tapped on the screen, the two VR pictures for the right and left eye will appear. Success. You can now put your phone into your own third-party headset and use Daydream VR just as if you were using the Daydream View headset. Of course, you will still need the original motion controller to do so, but you totally do not need the beautiful but flawed Daydream View headset. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. My name is Sebastian. This is for Daydream District. Let us know in the comments what headset you like. And if you enjoyed this video, please click on like to let me know I should keep on doing this kind of tutorials and subscribe to never miss any Daydream District videos in the future.